Welcome to RealEnglishConversations.net, the podcast where we discuss common English expressions so you know exactly what they mean, where they come from, and how to use them just like a native speaker. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the English Expressions Podcast. My name is Curtis, and right beside me is the lovely and talented Amy. How are you doing today? I'm really good, actually. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Uh, So let's get this started. And what kind of expression are we talking about today? Well, we have three expressions for you today. The first one is to give it a shot or give it a whirl. Okay. Those two can be used interchangeably. The second one is to be in the same boat. And the third one is I'm all ears. Nice. So let's start with the first one. Give it a shot or give it a whirl. All right. So this is used to express that you're unfamiliar with something that you're about to try. It kind of expresses the uncertainty or a lack of confidence that you are feeling about how well this particular activity is going to go. So somebody is suggesting that you try something and you're like, eh, why not? Okay. For instance, I would be like, I've never played football before, but I'll give it a shot. Right. So in this situation, Curtis is letting me know I've invited him to play football And he's letting me know that he is probably not going to be the star player because he doesn't really (laughs) know what he's doing. He's never played before. Just so that I have an expectation of what his performance will be. What's our second example? I really like your personality, but I'm not certain that you qualify for this job position. And I might say if I'm the applicant... Just give me a shot. I won't let you down. (laughs) So in this sort of situation, the person is letting me know that they're not confident in my ability with the, the job. Maybe I don't have the right experience. But by me saying, just give me a shot, I won't let you down. I'm saying, just give me a chance to try. You won't be disappointed. Right. I've got another example for you. I've never written an article before, but I'll give it a whirl. Right. So this might be an example where maybe I've asked Curtis to do a a blog article for our website, and he is letting me know that he's okay with trying to write the article, but he has no idea how it's going to turn out or whether it'll be good or bad because he's never done it before. So in either of these situations, we could exchange, give it a shot or give it a whirl. So for example, I've never played football before, but I'll give it a whirl. I really like your personality, but I'm not certain you qualify for this job position. Give me a whirl. I won't let you down. Or, I've never written an article before, but I'll give it a shot. So you can see they can both be used exactly the same. Right. So our second expression today is going to be to be in the same boat. All right. This is super common. (laughs) (laughs) So it's used to express that you're in the same situation as someone else. But generally, I have heard it in a situation that kind of has a negative tone to it. For example, how might we hear this, Curtis? I lost my job today. Oh man, I was laid off last week too. I guess we're in the same boat now. Basically, Curtis is saying he's lost his job and he's saying that to me and I lost my job too. So we're both in a pretty bad situation both in the same situation right so we're in the same Same boat boat. (laughs) i've got another example say for instance that we were kind of bickering or we're trying to get a project done together but we're we're not agreeing on the way of of getting through it or there's some sort of problem anyway so i would say we need to work together on this amy because we're in the same boat here fighting is not going to help Yeah, so we're talking about this as a team. I'm not going to be able to accomplish the goal any faster if you're being difficult or if I'm being difficult. So I'm just letting you know we're in the same situation. We have the same goal and we need to work together on this. And what's our last example? 
I'm so busy, I don't know how I'm going to get this project done. Dude, you're not the only one that's busy. We're all in the same boat here. So I'm saying to Curtis that he's complaining to me about being busy, and I'm letting him know that I'm busy too, and his complaint isn't really creating any pity. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, if you have somebody that's complaining to you about a problem that you have as well, you can just say, I'm in the same Same boat boat as you. And there'll be an understanding that you understand what they're saying, but the complaint isn't producing a result of sympathy. Here's my uh, here's my favorite one, Amy. I'm all ears is our oh, next yeah. expression. So this one's a little bit easier because it actually has the body part of the ears being in the expression and obviously you listen with your ears <laughs> so this is to be used when you're letting someone know that you're giving them your full attention okay so for example i've got a great idea i'm all ears okay. i'm indicating to curtis that i am ready to listen to his idea tell me your idea i can't wait to hear it i'm all ears right yeah So maybe for our next example, there's two people that are sitting together and they're having a conversation, but it kind of seems like the person that I'm talking to isn't paying attention to what I'm saying. Maybe they're like looking on their phone or something, you know, checking Facebook and I say (laughs) to them, hey, are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm all ears. Okay. So the person is just letting me know, even though they were distracted, they are doing nothing but listening to me and they have their undivided attention on what I'm saying. What's our next example? The football team was all ears while they waited to hear the result of the goal. Right, so you have this football team and they've just made a a goal, but it was kind of questionable. They weren't sure if it really went into the net or if it bounced out or something, so they're kind of assessing the goal so the football team is anxiously awaiting for the announcement of of the goal to know whether they won the game or not and obviously while they're waiting for that announcement they have their ears you know turned on to their maximum listening abilities so that they (laughs) hear the result as soon as it's released So these are great examples, great expressions that you're going to hear all the time. Mm -hmm. And now hopefully you know how to use them confidently. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. See ya. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast and you'd like to see a complete listing of everything we have to offer, including conversations, English expressions, and slang, be sure to check out our website at realenglishconversations.net.